Steve Harvey has a new daytime talk show. You said it's a late night show in the daytime. Yeah, man. I just, uh, I've been trying to tell them to put me on late night, but they, mm, they just keep telling me. If you told ABC, they'd probably put you on. Yeah. ABC <laughs> would do it. <laughs> ABC loves me. I gave them two hits. I, I don't doubt it. You had a daytime show. How many years ago was that show? No, I, uh, I had it for five straight years. It's five years. It ended in Chicago in May, and it just started up today. That was the Steve Harvey show. This is J Steve. Steve. And how are the shows different? Well, first of all, uh, I was watching Oprah and Ellen, and I discovered that they're very successful by not using their last name. So... <laughs> Smart. I just said, why do I keep dragging this out with this damn Steve Harvey business? <laughs> I'm gonna just go out here and be Steve. That's good thinking. That's the big difference. Then I'm just doing the late night flavor, man. I come out, I do a monologue, I got a desk. I'm doing a lot of celebrities now. Do you have anything in the desk or is it just it's a pretend desk? It's not a damn desk? thing. Yeah, it's a pretend desk. <laughs> my turn. It's empty. It don't even really look like a desk. It you looks know, like a counter. Are you... I, I, hope, I hope you're not tired of talking about this, but that memo that you put out to your staff at the old show, telling everyone to leave you alone. I just want you to know that I agree with that. I, I am the only person, yes, I think, in America you. that thank went, God. like, Steve's right. Everyone else was like, geez, what's up with Steve? Yeah, they was like, like I was this horrible person. I'm really a nice guy, but it's just, I'm such a nice guy. People just take advantage of it. And it's just, I got six shows, man, and everybody taking advantage of it. I really only wrote the memo for two damn people, really. <laughs> I just, my stupid ass set up in here and sent it to everybody. Hey, everybody. I should have just sent it directly to them, but I thought it was a lawsuit if I did that. I see. And they, uh, they, they, yeah, they ate. I didn't know I was in trouble till I woke up one morning and it was on CNN. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. weird, isn't it? Woo, woo. I went, woo. I want to say thank you, though, because uh, because you sent that memo, I think people at other talk shows all around the country kind of got the message don't wait in the elevator for the host to jump out at them and ask them a question. Man, they just do it. I'm a nice guy. I come off stage and people got to outside with their mama. And I got to take a picture with them and everything. And I'm trying, I just come off stage. I'm tired. And I take a picture with the mama. Then, then the mama got a dog. And I got to take a picture with the dog. <laughs> then they got uh, gas bills in their pocket that ain't been paid. <laughs> I'm, I was in the hallway one day, man. I paid a lady's gas bill. She told me she had a disconnection notice. No, I felt she bad. Yeah, man, I gave this lady $280. <laughs> <in the pocket. laughs> He was being taken advantage of. You're right. <laughs> no wonder you have eight jobs. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm helping a lot of people. That's Steve Harvey. If you play your cards right, if you run, get him at the right moment, he will pay your gas bill. Yeah. <laughs> the show is called Steve. It is every day in syndication. Steve Harvey, thank you very much. Steve. My man. Thanks for watching. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?